In this video, we will discuss laying out a pipe network. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file laying out a pipe network.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Civil 3D provides tools to creating pipe networks by laying them out with pipe network layout tools. Let's first navigate to the create design panel, pipe network dropdown, and pipe network creation tools. We'll give our pipe network a name of storm-1. Make sure we have the network part list of storm sewer. And for the layers, you can change them here if you'd like to, or you can even put an append, a prefix or a suffix if you'd like to. For now, we'll just leave it as is and click cancel here. For the surface name, you wanna make sure you pick a surface that's a combination of the proposed surfaces and the existing surfaces. That way, Civil 3D will drape the structures along the entire finished grade surface. So we have a surface here called FG. For the alignment name, for later labels, we'll go ahead and pick on bypass one. For the labels, we'll leave them off right now. That way, as we're laying our pipe network out, the areas don't get too congested. Click OK, and now we have the network layout tools. Let's examine these for a bit. First, you have the pipe network properties. If you click on that, this is basically everything that we just defined, and you can change things in here as well. You can tell Civil 3D which surface to use, which alignment to use, which parts list, and then, of course, we have the dropdowns here, which are actually reading the parts that are in this parts list. From the list, let's go ahead and choose a catch basin. We'll expand the rectangular junction, and let's go ahead and pick a 24 by 24 CB. We'll set our pipe to 12 inch RCP, so we'll set this to the concrete pipe category and 12 inch. Notice the options to create your pipes using the pipes and structures, pipes only, or structures only. You also have the ability to do an upslope or a downslope. Right now we're set to downslope, let's go ahead and leave it like that. We're going to use the station offset transparent command, so we're going to type in apostrophe SO once we've started the command. Let's go ahead and start the command by picking pipes and structures, and we'll go ahead and start by typing in apostrophe SO for station offset. We'll first go ahead and pick our proposed alignment, and now the jig appears and we're ready to type this in. Let's type in 1025, press enter, and then type in 12.66 and press enter. And you'll notice that the catch basin gets placed there automatically. Continuing on with this same exact catch basin and pipe size, we'll type in 1162, press enter, and then 24, and then press enter. And notice how it's continuing along very nicely here. Let's go ahead and change our structure to a cylindrical one for a four foot DMH. We'll set our size to 18 inch RCP, and now we'll go ahead and type in 1300, press enter, and for an offset, this should be at the center line, so zero, and then enter. Notice how the structure is changed because of the style and the pipe size has changed as well. We'll change this back to 24 by 24 catch basin and we'll leave our pipe size set to 18. We'll type in 1455, press enter, and then we wanna type in 24 again, press enter, and now we've got our pipe and structure defined at that station offset. Let's go ahead and change this to 24 inch RCP. We'll leave it set to the catch basin and we'll type in 1455, press enter, and then negative 45.11. Press enter, and there is our catch basin on the opposite side of the road. Lastly, what we want to do is you want to define a wing wall where this will drain out. We'll go ahead and change our structure to a 38 by 12 by 45 winged head wall, and leave our pipe set to 24 inch RCP, and we'll type in 1455, press enter, negative for left, 99.27, and then press enter. Press escape to end the command, which is the transparent command, and then press escape again to end the layout tools. As you can see, based upon the styles that we've defined here, we have our pipe network displaying exactly as you would expect it to display. So where does the pipe network live in the prospector tab? If you expand the pipe network category, you have your networks right here. Here's that existing one that we created in the previous exercise, and here's our proposed one, and notice how you have two categories for the pipes and the structures, and you can click on each one to see the different settings and properties for each of those different object types. If you want to see our pipe network in 3D, let's go ahead and select a few of the different types of structures here and pipes. And we'll do a right click select similar, and that should grab us all the different pipe network objects. If not, go ahead and just select it here, right click select similar, and now we should have our entire pipe network in our selection set. And so we'll take this into the object viewer, and as you can see, we're getting our pipe network in there with the rendering material and everything showing up very nicely. Now let's say we wanted to actually see this in a profile view. So there are a couple ways to do this. First, let's go ahead and select our first catch basin, and then we'll navigate to the launch pad panel and choose alignment from network. 
The next thing we have to do is select the next network part that we want to use to actually define this alignment with. We'll go ahead and click the wing wall. This will create an alignment for the entire network. Press enter. We'll give it the default name. Of course, it's a miscellaneous type alignment. We'll go ahead and use the basic alignment style. No labels. Make sure this is toggled on for create profile and profile view and click OK. We'll add in the FG surface. Click draw and profile view. And then let's click on the profile display options to make sure that no labels will be displayed. And we'll pick on no labels, click OK. And just to verify, the pipe network will be displayed in this profile view. Click create profile view. And we'll go down to the left here and click. And there is our pipe network displayed in a profile view. Now, if you want to add this to, let's say, another view, let's say you want to add all the parallel objects to the proposed bypass view, we can do so as well. Press escape to clear your selection set. And let's go ahead and individually select the objects that we want to display in the profile view. We'll pick these objects as these are the ones that actually are within our roadway for the proposed profile. When you're done with your selection set, right click and choose draw parts in profile view. And let's go ahead and select the profile view. And there is our pipe network displayed in that profile view. Again, you change it in one view, it'll update the pipe network object in all the different views where it's shown.